I'm here at Public Storage on 45th Street, 1227 45th Street, Manigonia Park. This is terrible. This should not be, this is just terrible. This is terrible. Hi everybody, today's video is uh, all about our terrible shock at Public Storage in West Palm Beach, Florida. I want you to take a look at this video and see what happened to us there. My name is Kevin, I'm a solo OTR driver for Creek Carrier and you're watching the joy of trucking. Uh, you all know moving day is, is a bad scene, right? Heavy boxes, cardboard, furniture, stuff getting broken, spilled, you know, you got, you got expenses, moving trucks and helpers and all that stuff. Okay, it's a tough day, but we had an extra surprise on this one. We've been, uh, we've been homeless for like six years, living out of a motor home. We've been on the truck two and a half years. We finally bought a house. We went to get our stuff out of storage where it's been for six years since we left the island of St. Croix and came to mainland USA. We got a U-Haul truck. I'm driving, you know, this big U-Haul truck. And we go in to get our stuff and what a mess. What a surprise. Check it out, watch today's video. driving I'm driving a 26 foot U-Haul truck it's a Ford with a big eight and towing my car behind it just like we do with the motorhome it's moving day how does this drive compared to the Kenworth T680 That is not good. That's definitely not good. Rat poop everywhere. Oh my God. <sighs> the friggin' rats eating my furniture. Wow. That's bad. This is now. terrible. And Kevin just said, if they if they damaged our mattress, that's a memory foam three thousand dollar mattress. My mattress, my mattress cost me eighteen hundred dollars, and I was crying about it. Three thousand? Yep. Yeah. When they when they first came out, mm -hmm. right? We paid to ship it up here because we wanted to keep it because it was a big investment. Mm -hmm. Now if it's got rat oh. and poo all over it. Where's your gloves, Tony? Video do you more justice? Mm -hmm. Get that ultra wide angle. All right. Okay. I'm here at public storage on 45th Street, 1227 45th Street, Manigonia Park, with this fine lady. I've never seen rat poop rats this bad in this facility this is terrible this should not be this is just terrible this is terrible wait till she sends you all the pictures you'll see yeah here look at the spring our mattress springs unbelievable look at this yeah and you've known this facility a long time 2008 Unbelievable. Yep.
Let's go. Yeah, that's just these. Hey, let me show you something here at public storage. This is all rat poop. They were living in this here storage unit and peed and pooped all over our stuff we had stored here. And we're paying to store here to keep it safe. They chewed up our stuff. They peed on everything, destroyed a bunch of wood furniture, textile things. Really disgusting. Our box springs are destroyed. Terrible. Also, we've been paying for secure storage and this has not closed once in the three and a half hours we've been here. Despite all this drama, we did finally get everything in the truck and we're ready to go. A big thank you to Jeff J from TaskRabbit. If you need help in this area, definitely uh, check him out on TaskRabbit. He was really awesome. All right, now let's take all our rat infested stuff to the house. Good thing you remember how to do that, huh? Yeah, it's been a while, eh? Yeah. But how smart it was to bring that. It was a lot of money and running around. Thanks for joining us in today's video. This was hard for me to make because it was really traumatizing. Yeah, we do not recommend using public storage or any kind of storage, really. That was just, just inexcusable. So there'll be a follow-up video. I need to contact the insurance company because we have been paying insurance for six years. So let's see how that goes. Uh, please do share this video so people know because the manager at the place took absolutely no responsibility for it. Um, so it was a really all around disappointing experience and cost us a lot of money to ship our things up and store them for six years. Anyway, uh, if you like the video, despite its content not being likable, give it a thumbs up. Put your comments and questions below. Have you had this type of experience? Be sure, like I said, to share the video and subscribe to our channel if you want to travel the roads of America, learn about trucking and a few other things. With love from Kevin and Tanya. Bye.